Um, fiery stuff, bit bitchy, bit blue on blue there. What did you make of it? Well, I think it was a better format than um, Friday Night's Debate on Channel 4. And I think that just having all of the five of them in a studio alone with the presenter meant that we saw a mo- lot more uh, attacks on each other and criticisms of their record in government. Um, I think Liz Truss was a lot better than she was on Friday and showed more about the um, energy and punch that her supporters hope she has. Um, and I think that it showed that basically Rishi Sunak is the front runner because of the criticisms of his time in the Treasury and that really defined the debate. But um, I think that it just shows that still with um, you know, three days until we're going to have the final two, we're still unsure about what that final matchup will be. Yeah, who do you think looks in the weakest position this morning after that debate last night and who do you expect then to be knocked out? Because voting starts 3pm, results sort of 8 o'clock this evening. Yeah, um, so I think that unfortunately it's going to be Tom Tugendhat who I think has run a pretty good campaign for where he was at as a backbencher, but he's finished bottom last time of all those who weren't eliminated, only had 32 votes. And I think last night he was a little bit left behind because everyone else was talking across him and talking about the records in government. And, of course, Tom hasn't got that. So I think... He what, he has, what he has got, James, now is a bit more profile than he had before. Uh, that's got to be currency for him, hasn't it? It has. And I think it was always madness that some people were trying to say to him and Kemi Badnock drop out before the debates um, on Friday and, and Sunday because they have now got an enhanced figure. They've come up against the two big contenders, Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak, and debated against them both. And I think Tom Tugendhat will leave the race today, presumably, um, with uh, his profile enhanced and people thinking this guy is cabinet material. But what's interesting on these kind of blue on blue attacks is you really do think you've got to be careful if you're a, a Conservative MP or one of the contenders, if you want to be in cabinet, who you back? Because essentially, you know, they're attacking each other's records. Liz Truss can forget it if Rishi Sunak wins. She's out of a job, isn't she? I think there's a, there's a real possibility about that in that it will be difficult to see how all of them can fit around the same cabinet table after some of um, the criticisms. You know, that being said, I think that broadly, um, in public at least, what they've said has largely been respectful and about policy. Um, although, of course, I think some of the briefings that are going on perhaps have overstepped the mark a little bit. Um, are you so- talking about the Penny Mordaunt press over the, over the weekend? Yes, um, and in terms of what her record is and what she's happened in government with, with to do with... Um, the transgender policy and uh, gender neutral language, etc. So I think that her camp are rather disappointed in what's been going on and they've been talking about smears. Others point back and say, well, you know, you've got two reflections of the truth, two different versions. How can those two compare and contrast together?